talk about everything, play music in between, tune in and enjoy Chad's underground scene. Talk, talk and music, you know what I mean. Welcome to Chad's Underground Scene. We are uh, way out here in the foothills in LA County with my special guest, Marty Swift, and his band Chico and the Man. Introduce yourselves. I'm Ronnie, bass player. I'm Richard, drummer. Marty Swift, guitar and vocalist. And tell us a little bit about your band, maybe the style. It's power, punkish, rock and roll, hard driving. I met Richard at the Doll Hut about six weeks ago. Ronnie found me on Facebook and he's been here about three weeks so this is all brand new. Yeah and I found you at the Doll Hut. We played a show together called uh, Strip Down Sundays. Good times there. Blast. And uh, I think we had five or six artists and they were all good. That, that was awesome. So I think we will start the show with a song by you guys so tell us a little bit about the song and the song. then you're gonna break into it and wail. It's called Santa Monica about a day at the pier with a girl named Veronica. It's our next big hit. <laughs> Enjoyed that song. Thank you. <laughs> so how'd you come up it. with that song? Uh, Who's well, Veronica? A, well, a girl I knew from uh, eighth grade. Ah, sweet. Beautiful. <laughs> well developed. Um, and then uh, it's a basic 12 bar turnaround. I love the beach. I love Santa Monica. I love the pier. So the song kind of just came one day. <laughs> awesome. Okay, you and I, I guess we've been doing some uh, acoustic. I'm glad live music is back because I've been playing quite a bit. I, I think you have as well, right? I go to an open mic every Tuesday night, yeah. right down here, called the Bright Star Tavern. They should pay me for saying that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been doing that. But since I've been meeting these guys, uh, it's all full-blown electric now. Keep it on, nice, nice, yeah. So I play in a 
a couple of other bands as well. I play in Big Mess, full live band, and then also a band I was in in the 80s. We still do a reunion tour every every summer, so I keep it both electric and acoustic. It's it's fun. I like both. I en I really enjoyed your set at uh, Doll Hut. That was some cool songs. Thank you. In fact, Steve had one that he really liked. What, did you, what was it, Steve? Uh, Cortez the Killer. <laughs> there you go. So uh, live music is back. What are you guys? Are you guys happy to have live music back? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to play. How did that uh, last couple of years treat you guys? You did all right? Stuck in my room playing guitar. Yeah, it left me in a hole. Left you out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Hope we can all uh, come back from everything. It's it's looking better now. I'm glad we get live music to treat us to, so we can go see some live music. I've been going both to live concerts and playing. Yeah, it was my most creative time of my life. I couldn't do anything else, so I just played and wrote an album, made a bunch of stupid videos, and now I've met some real people to play it with, so we're having a blast. So you played a lot? I'm in a, your room yeah, and I, practiced a lot? Yeah, I'm, yeah. In, I'm in a couple bands, so I got a couple things going, but uh, <clears throat> right now I was on break, so uh, I stepped in to play with Marty, get him going. Sweet. Get him cooking. Yeah, I, I spent I spent that two years kind of like you. I get I get creative. I created this show. I also uh, recorded two albums. I wrote and recorded two albums uh, over that time. So I, it made me productive, but it was tough being stuck in a house by yourself or with uh, there was other people in my house. I was lucky. Mm -hmm. Some people were probably alone, right? That must have been rough. Oh, you yeah. were. It was killing me, yeah, because I just had my set put away and I really couldn't do nothing, just air guitar. Oh, no. And have the neighbors not complain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you've broken free now. Oh, so yeah. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so um, let's break away to a video that you made. So I'd like you to tell us a little bit about your inspiration and what got you to make these videos? You Is that the Golden Trauma? Child? Yeah, Golden Child, and there were several others that... Yeah. Golden Child is a true story of... Uh, I actually spent a week in a mental hospital suffering from some severe depression on the edge. And uh, after I got out and got healthy, uh, I wrote a song about that experience. Oh, nice. That's... That's a good subject because we should all talk about that. It's not, not anything to hide. You just, and we should not shame anybody for it. Yeah. Because we all suffer from it at some point in our lives, if not your whole lives, right? It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and then I went to a thrift store, bought a bunch of gold stuff, paid in my face gold, and made a silly video. Sweet. About yeah. It. <laughs> it's a good one. I like it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. All right. And here's. The video, Golden Child, by Marty Swift. Kids, how you doing? Welcome to Mr. Swift's Garage, where today we're going to talk about gold, pure gold. My new song, Golden Child. You can watch it on YouTube, and we'll catch you on the next show. God bless.
Oh, hey kids, how you doing? Welcome to Mr. Swift's garage. We're just out here and we're mining for a little gold. I want to invite you to uh, come along for the journey and we'll catch you on the next show. God bless. Hope you enjoyed that video. You have several videos that you did intros and outros to that are pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about all those videos and how you came about. I'm going to do all these videos. Yeah, um, when I did Golden Child and I came up to the mic, I, I created this weird voice and said, we'll see you on the next show, God bless. And then out of that, I created a guy called Mr. Swift's Garage, a, a take on Mr. Rogers. Yeah, maybe. yeah, take on Mr. So Rogers. So at the beginning, I introduce the song, put on my slippers, and then I go into the song. And at the end, I do an outro as Mr. Swift's Squad. Invite everybody back for the next show. <laughs> so that guy became the front end, the back end of most of the videos I did. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool concept. I liked it because it gets you into, oh, here comes the video. And then when you come out, you it's relaxing. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you play in a couple bands? Yes, I play with Okay, so let's go around and let's talk about the bands that we play in so we can tell people about them. So... What are the I'm bands a, you play in? I play with Panic Movement. Been with them for since 2006. Uh, oh yeah, for a while. I played with you guys yeah, in Panic was, Movement yeah, a few great, times. Yeah. Shows. Um, also with a side band called As Is and with uh, Marty here. And then I'm doing a side project with a friend of mine, uh, Johnny Hernandez. So it's oh, okay. Yeah. So you jumped hours. all in. Oh, yeah. Awesome. They keep me busy. <laughs> yeah. keep me busy. <laughs> he didn't just jump in, he jumped all in. <laughs> And how about you? I'm uh, obviously the, the right here at Chico and the Man, and then um, I have a uh, another band, Ronnie Metal, that I'm in, and we have like ten records published. So it's kind of an established but a long time ago band, but I'm still doing it. And then uh, me and Marty have another band called Da Dat Dumb. Da Dat Dumb. Yeah. Da Dat Dumb. So tell us about yours. That's one of your bands, and then Chico and the band, and yeah. then you also do um, acoustic? Right around the time I met Richard, I met a guy named Jermaine. He's a black guy, kick-ass drummer. So we do different sets with each band. And uh, so I got two bands, two different drummers, but the same bass player. But it's a lot of fun. So that keeps you busy, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm totally <laughs> you busy You to learn now. another song. <laughs> learn this song. I went from in my bedroom yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. playing all time. We, we've been working him. <laughs> and like I said, I do uh, acoustics as Chad Carrier, and then I do Big Mess, and I also do Easter, and then come around St. Patrick's Day, I do the Slauncha Brothers, and we do Irish folk music. That's a, that's, oh, and cool. it's, a lot of the guys from Big Mess are in and out of the different projects. So, in fact. On uh, Sunday when we played, that was the guitar one of the guitar players okay. from Big Mess. Yeah, you guys are good. They played with us, <laughs> or played with me. It was the, just the two of us that day. You so, guys are great. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's fun. He's Ron is great. Okay, um, I guess this is a perfect time to break into another song. This will be uh, one of my songs off my new album, and we'll all do it together. It's called "Not Alone." So this song here is called Not Alone, and I wrote this during, during the COVID. We were all locked down and couldn't get out. And as things were opening up, I kind of was watching what people do, and I ended up writing this song about that. It's about that, and then it's also about mental health, because people that feel alone, they lose their minds, right? So this song is about you're not alone. There's, a, there's always somebody out there that actually cares and wants to help. So reach out when you can, and then reach out if you see somebody that needs help, right? Because you probably went through that, right? Oh, yeah. Anybody that called probably was a relief to you and made you feel so much better, oh, right? Yeah, it was like, yeah. made the grass a lot greener. Oh, yeah. Okay, and here we go. This is called Not Alone. Here we go. This one's called Not Alone.
Thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. That uh, Just remember, you're not alone out there. And those that see somebody that's alone, please reach out and help them out. So let's talk a little bit about the underground scene and clubs. Clubs we like and clubs we used to like because there was a big scene before we got shut down. So maybe tell us a little bit about different clubs and the, your favorite clubs that you like to go to. We'll start with you. Well, the Doll Hut's been a mainstay, but there's another little place in uh, Santa Monica. It's called Maniac's Motorcycle Zone. And once a month, he turns his motorcycle shop into a club. Oh, nice. <laughs> and he has a bunch of punk bands come out, and it's a really cool scene. Yeah, there's, there's one in El Segundo as well called South Bay Customs, and that's what they do. They do motorcycle and car custom rebuilds. And then once in a while, they open it up, and make a, it a concert hall, and it's the coolest looking concert hall around. It's yeah. awesome. <laughs> and then we were lucky enough to do a Green Jello Vision Music Television a couple weeks back, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah, they're they're fun guys. Yeah, huh? that was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it's been. I mean, we just started gigging, so the Doll Hut's been good. Uh, we're hoping to get uh, some gigs over at Characters in Pomona. 
Uh, I played there a lot in the past in another band, and the promoter there is supposed to be trying to see what he can do, I guess, in January. Yeah, that's a good spot. We're probably looking at some, uh, yeah, they got a good stage and stuff. And um, so, you know, we're in Green Jello uh, Tip Vision, we're looking to go back. Uh, but we're not, uh, they haven't yet invited us back. We want to wait till they kind of call us and say, right, you yeah. guys come play on Saturday night. That way we get on the menu. Right, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we get on the flyer and everything. We're not just a band that shows they up. They just showed up, right, yeah. So uh, that's good. And, you know, it's a lot of these clubs opening up, I just think next year, um, you know, Marty's probably going to be slam packed. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, Mario keep us busy. Yeah, so I played with your band at several places. One was in Bellflower. I can't remember the name. The Staggered Inn. You staggered Inn. They closed down. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That yeah. place was a place <laughs> never to forget. It was good, yes, that was yeah, a fun good one. Good little hideout. And then not too far from there, they had the Anarchy Library. Was yeah, another Anarchy. great one. Yes. Yeah, I don't think they do live music anymore, but it's no. still there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, I, I love the Doll Hut. The Doll Hut's been really good to me, but I also like the Stardust in Dallas. We played with you there as well. Many times. Yeah, we yeah. played with you at yeah, Stardust. Yeah. So when are you going to get us a gig there? I'll get you a gig. I'll get you a gig. <laughs> I'll get you a gig. And then in uh, January, we're playing a promoter at a place called DBA. I don't know if you heard of that. Uh, promoter called Children of Eden. They're putting that on. So Yeah, I know those guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Great, great, guys. great band. Yeah, yeah and they've been around band. a long time as well. Yeah. yeah. Cool, so um, let's go to another song by you guys. So go ahead and introduce it and tell us about it. Well, this and song, yeah, it's called Are You Ready? And when I sing the chorus, I kind of put on my Beelzebub voice. And because, uh, you know, you always hear, did you sell your soul for rock and roll, you know? And the devil's out there asking if you're ready, right. ready to make a deal. So he's asking us if we're ready. So it's called Are You Ready? So, are you ready? <laughs> Was it? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> nice. I'm ready. That's some rock and roll. He says yeah. he's ready. Oh, That's it. Ready. There's we some rock and roll ready. there. So, tell us where we can get a hold of your music. 
or find out where you guys are playing. We'll the, start with you. The album I put out during COVID before I met these gentlemen is called Marty Swift Slop Rock. I'm, I'm creating my own genre because I'm really sloppy. And uh, I like other people that are sloppy too, except women. And then uh, I put that out. There's 10 songs on there. And then I had nothing else to do, so I created music videos for every one of them. And then I added another song called Baseball, where I dress up like baseball players. So that's out on uh, Spotify and all fine digital outlets, as well as DistroKid Records. But I put everything on YouTube, so the best thing to do is go find the video, because then you can watch something as you're listening. And I do like that your acoustic version is different. It is different. I, I like that. That was cool. That was a good There's, version yeah, of Baseball. Two Oh, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> baseball. Yeah, just give me some baseball, yeah. I carried the, the ball. <laughs> and how about you? Where can we find you? Facebook. Um, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. Um, I'm pretty big on Clapper. Um, and then, of course, YouTube, Ronnie Metal. The Clapper. Um, uh, you know, you can find my stuff is so Ronnie Metal yeah, on any of those platforms. On anything you can just Google Ronnie Metal and get it all. Yeah, and for me, it's either Chad Carrier Acoustic or Chad Carrier or Big Mess. Same thing with me on Facebook or on Twitter. You can also find me on uh, Panic Movement and our Facebook page. Panic Movement, awesome. All right, I had a great time with you guys, and thanks for playing with me. That was awesome. Yeah, that's fun. a great jam. Had a total blast. Yeah. Who's the guy behind the camera? And we get Steve Brownlee behind the camera today. Yeah. <laughs> he brought the weed. <laughs> there you go. Can we say that? And, He's got a t-shirt. Yes. With yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't judge. I don't judge whatever people do. They need to do what they need to do, right? We hey, have to stay sane. You do what you do. Somehow. <laughs> All right. I'd like to thank. Thank you for coming out to see my show today with Chico and the Man, Marty, Marty Swift, Swift, Ronnie Metal, and Richard Bermudez. And remember, Bermudez. it all starts in the underground. Now enjoy this video of Marty Swift. This one is called Beautiful.
talk about everything, play music in between. 